Recent heavy rains in Changsha have caused flooding in many parts of the city. Homes were inundated, roads were blocked, and people were trapped. Changsha experienced severe storms, leading to the suspension of many metro lines on June 24. Heavy storms affected all districts and counties in Changsha. According to a comprehensive analysis of the latest meteorological data, the accumulated rainfall will continue to be 150 to 250 millimeters, with local precipitation reaching 300 to 400 millimeters. The Changsha Meteorological Office decided to upgrade the emergency response for severe rain disasters from Level 3 to Level 2 starting at 11 o'clock on June 24. As of 10.30 a.m. on June 24, the emergency flood control response in Changsha was upgraded to Level 3. Affected by heavy rains, all lines 2 and 3 of the Changsha Metro, including the West Ring Line, suspended services according to flood control requirements. Scenic spots such as Ula Mountain, Jay's Hao, and Talling were closed from 2 p.m. on June 24 and will resume normal operations until further notice. Due to continuous heavy rains, many low-lying areas in Changsha, such as sewers, bridges, and underpasses, have experienced severe water accumulation, with some areas experiencing backflow. The observatory continued to issue a red warning signal for heavy rain at 1042 on June 24, 2024. In the last three hours, rainfall in cities such as Donjin Road and Gang Road in the UA district exceeded 130 mm. It is expected that more than 100 mm of rain will fall in this district in the next 72 hours, with a maximum hourly rainfall intensity of 70 mm. The risk of disaster is very high, so take special precautions. In Westlake, the amount of rain that fell in one hour was the same as what is usually expected for the entire month of June. Since June 24, heavy rains have hit Changsha, Hunan, and the Changsha Meteorological Observatory issued a series of heavy rain warnings. Affected by the rains, the Changsha Hydrological Office and the Water Resources Office issued flood warnings. The Changsha Hydrological Office issued a blue flood warning at 9 a.m., stating that the water level at the Gutang Hydrological Station of the Gutang River, a tributary of the Luang River, had risen 1.0 m and was expected to rise approximately 2.0 m in the next three hours. At 9.45 a.m., the warning was upgraded to yellow as the water level had risen 3.51 m and was expected to rise approximately 2.0 m in the next three hours. The rains caused flooding in many parts of Changsha, affecting public transportation. According to the Changsha Traffic Police, at least 15 road sections in Changsha were flooded on the morning of June 24. Additionally, the rains caused lines 2 and 3 of the Changsha Metro to stop operating for a while, resuming service at 5.30 p.m. the same day. Some trains at Changsha South Station were delayed, and some residential areas also experienced flooding in underground garages and elevators. In the afternoon, the accumulated water showed signs of receding. According to the Changsha train station, by 3 p.m. on June 24, the accumulated water in the station square had receded. To prepare for possible heavy rains in the future, the station has readied equipment to strengthen protection. A journalist from the local newspaper learned that the Gutang River in Changsha was severely flooded. Many shops near Shuming on Long Road were flooded up to halfway up the floor. Many cars were submerged up to their roofs in the Zman shopping center on Wali Road, and under the Long Road Viaduct. The water in front of the Changsha train station was like a siege, and many cars were waiting to pass through the water. Water poured into the metro entrance near the train station from the ground, and the water level in the underground passage was knee-high to an adult by noon on June 24. Local media in Changsha reported that, According to the Changsha Hydrological Office, 
the Gu Tang River experienced the highest recorded flood level in history at 39.7 M, an increase of 4.59 M before the Changsha Hydrological Office issued a warning. The Gu Tang River originates from Lake Shuren in the heart of Changsha Zhu Jiangan's Green Zone and flows into the Luang River. It is a river in the center of Changsha City, with a population of approximately 2 million. There are many commercial entities gathered near Long Road and the Gu Tang River, such as Zui Wuang, Tiyu Town, Yoa Market, etc. It is a famous food and leisure district in the Changsha Gu Tang Business District. Videos filmed by Changsha residents show that the four mentioned commercial buildings were affected by flooding. Floodwaters at Yoa Market poured directly into outdoor elevators and submerged the commercial areas on the ground floor. The entire Z shopping street is built near the Gu Tang River and is located at a low altitude. Photographs taken by residents of nearby high-rise buildings show that half the floors of shops on the shopping street were flooded. Near the Zman Fanning Shopping Plaza at the intersection of Zhangjiang and Wanjiali Roads in Changsha, the water on the road was about to reach the roofs of cars. A Changsha citizen, Xiao, saw at the intersection of Wanjiali and Long East Roads that some cars attempted to drive from the water that submerged their wheels up to the sidewalk, but when they approached the road, the cars stopped. The Ning Zhang Municipal Hydrology and Water Resources Office issued two blue flood warnings at 9.30 a.m. on June 24, 2024. The water level in the Jingjiang River section is expected to rise more than 2.0 m in the next 12 hours. The water level in the Shibatsi River section of the Wuang River, a tributary of the Weiyu River, is expected to rise more than 3.0 m in the next 12 hours. Two staff members at a restaurant on Z Commercial Street said they arrived at work at 9 a.m. but did not expect the rain to intensify and the water to suddenly rise at 11 a.m., flooding the entire first floor of the restaurant. For safety, they moved to the second floor. The torrential storms causing widespread flooding in southeastern China are moving inland, prompting the National Meteorological Service to issue its most severe storm alerts and warnings of flash floods and landslides in the coming days. In the Mediterranean, the region has been heavily affected by last week's heavy rains, causing deadly floods and landslides that have claimed at least 71 lives, according to Chinese state media. Southern Wangong Province, an economic hub with 127 million residents, experiences annual flooding from April to September. However, the intensity of storms and severe flooding has increased in recent years, and scientists warn that the climate crisis will exacerbate extreme weather events, making them more deadly and frequent. After displacing tens of thousands of people in Guangdong, the storms have moved northward into central southern China. Images have emerged showing flooded roads and a submerged metro system in Honan province on Monday. The China Meteorological Administration issued its highest red alert for the first time this year, warning of severe risks from torrential rains in several provinces. The high-risk zone extends from Chunning province in the west to Huai province in the east, encompassing Hunan and other provinces. China's state flood control and relief headquarters raised its flood response to level 3, with level 1 being the most urgent, in the provinces of Xiang, Weijangi, and Hunan on Monday, according to Chinese state media reports.